Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu desktop on virtual machine using Hyper V Manager. First we need to download Ubuntu desktop by going to the Ubuntu website. Downloads tab, desktop, I will add the link uh, to the video description. So as we can see it is downloading the Ubuntu ISO image right now. Alright, so as we can see the Ubuntu 16.04 desktop edition has been finished and I'm using Google Chrome and I did change the default download location which uh, we can double check. It is in C data ISO image directory. All right, let's go ahead and create new virtual machine. I'm going to use Hyper V Manager. Creating new virtual machine. Let's go ahead and call it Ubuntu Desktop. I'm using first generation 2048 megabyte gives us two gigabytes. I'm going to connect it to the external virtual switch I created previously. On this window, we will leave everything default. Next, again, we downloaded the ISO image, so I'm going to use the ISO image. This is a uh, desktop and finish. So what we did, we did download the Ubuntu desktop edition and we created new virtual machine using Hyper V Manager. Now let's go ahead, start the virtual machine and install the Ubuntu operating system on it. All right, so we can choose the language here. And then uh, since we are installing permanently, we will use the uh, install option. If it's a one-time use, we can simply try, uh, click on try Ubuntu. But let's go ahead and install Ubuntu on this virtual machine. On this window, it will basically detect any additional devices in install third-party devices. Let's go ahead and install, continue. Okay, since uh, this is brand new virtual machine, we want to create partitions, brand new installation. So erase disk and install Ubuntu. Install now. And uh, continue. It will create partitions. Choosing the location. Okay, continue. And English, US, okay, keyboard layout, perfect, continue. This is just for demonstration purposes, but definitely real world case scenario, you want to uh, choose a strong password, complex password, where we have minimum of eight characters, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, or special characters, such as symbols or stuff like that. And this is just for demonstration purposes, so I'm just using very short password. So as we can see, it is going through the process of installation. I will fast forward. All right, as we can see, the installation has been completed. We just need to restart the virtual machine. All right, as we can see, Ubuntu desktop installation has been finished on the virtual machine. If you have any questions, comments, please leave in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.